Hey guys, DMIK here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. Um, Mario? Hello? Oh, there we go. All right, buddy. Making sure we're all there. We got three more stars coming your way today, everybody. All of which will be residing in the Gusty Garden Galaxy. For those of you who love alliteration, this star is for you. We're actually going to be doing the stars kind of out of order, but that's okay. The intention of me doing the stars are not to be broken down, but unfortunately, I don't get to choose that. Once you get to this part of the game, the game is like, hey, you didn't do these stars earlier, and we have purple coin missions for you to do, which are way more fun than any other mission in the game. So how about we just forget about all the normal stars, and we'll do those ones instead. So that's what the game has in store for us today. It is a bit of a different purple coin mission that's going to be coming up once we finish this one. And then the final mission actually of this, I guess, galaxy that we're going to be attempting today is very quick. So I'm not entirely sure how long this episode will be today, but it's looking like it may be a shorter one. So we'll see how it goes. It's not intended to be shorter, but that's just the the way of the road sometimes. The way she goes, we're going to make the best of it. I thought I had done more of these missions, but apparently I had not, which I think is very interesting. Some coins, if you're into that. I'm not. I actually hate coins. I'm very anti-change. Anytime that I go someplace, they're like, yeah, here's your change. I just throw it right back at them, and I'm just like, yeah, that's a normal and rational social thing to do. Just get mad at people for giving you your change. Actually, these coins are probably pretty useful considering how uh, kind of belligerent I'm being with my approach to Mario and his safety. Maybe belligerent's not the right word. Let's go with negligent. I think belligerent would be more aggressive. I'm not really the aggressive type, I would say. But hey, depends who you ask. But anyway, we're collecting these star chips. Would have been cool to grab that one off that long jump, but that was not meant to be. Okay, we're going the wrong way now. Some of the gravity is kind of wonky. Trying to figure out which way is up and which way is down. This mission actually is all about gravity. Hopefully we understand the gravity of our situation. We don't. Spoilers. That's okay. So we got these weird little discs that we're trying to pick up these star chips around. We have done so successfully. Congratulations, me. So here we go. Got some classic Mario theme going on. This is fun. This very intense gravity-defying situation. We're gonna crush a Goomba in the process. I'm not entirely sure like how tough this is supposed to be. I mean, it probably is tough, and it's probably going to be tough. I say this like I'm about to, I'm probably about to die. Um, okay. All right, so the answer is above average, maybe? I mean, I'm also just not very good at this, so that could be part of it. Maybe this actually isn't tough. This is actually probably rated. Maybe there's a scale out there on the internet of difficulty of stars rated 1 to 120. And this one's probably, like, the easiest one out there, but, you know. Leave it to me to skew the average, if you know what I'm saying. This channel is actually a psychosocial experiment. The intent is to allow viewers to watch what I'm doing and to feel better about themselves in general. Oh, that looks like we're about to die again in the same exact spot. Let me out! Let me out of here! Yeah, it's kind of hard to avoid. I'm, I guess I should stop trying to go for that live stream. I guess I don't need it. I'm going for it just to see if I can do it. For the sake of completion, which is funny because I haven't really tried to do that with anything else, so starting now would be kind of 
antithetical to what I've been trying to do. I probably should try to make the acquisition of the star easier on myself, considering how poorly I'm doing in general. Clearly my motivation is a bit off today, but hey, you know, if I can do it, anyone can do it. All right, so I'm thinking we need to find where the other side of that box was that we were running around. I saw that you could hit a little arrow. There it is. There it is. All right. The gravity shift and all willy-nilly. I'm hoping at some point there is a... Maybe a... Okay. Not that. I'm hoping there's some gigantic uh, explosive beach balls that can uh, kill me. Not quite. All right. Ah, now this is why they wind up giving you the life shroom, because this, yes. I'm trying to be very careful here. I don't know if the gravity will let me long jump to this or not. We're going to find out. Oh, that was not a very good long jump. It does not. It sucks you into the black hole of failure. All right. I was not trying to pad this episode out, but maybe it'll pad itself out by virtue of... My ineptitude? You know, sometimes you have to account for that in your cost-benefit analysis. Make sure that the players involved, the stakeholders, aren't completely uh, boneheaded. That helps when you're trying to run your business like I am here. Oh, that's not cool. I mean, I'm thinking maybe that live stream would be good after all if I can grab it correctly. Probably should try to jump on the box first. Maybe that's Kind of been the downfall of Rome here. There it is. All right. You got it, everybody. It wasn't too bad. Took a little bit of outside the box thinking, if you know what I'm saying. Or on top of the box thinking. However you'd like to frame it. So far, so good, though. I'm not entirely sure where I was supposed to go after that spot, though. So hopefully there is a an arrow. Ooh, this is making me dizzy. Should definitely stop that. Okay. I wasn't sure if there was more stuff to my left. I think there might be. Oh, that wasn't very nice. Get your balls out of my face. Okay. It's... Oh. Is that it? Like, can I jump to this? Really? All right, that doesn't seem right. I was trying to go to the left because I thought that that's what it wanted me to do because there's more stuff that direction. But... All right. I mean, that kind of feels like I cheated a little bit. I sidestepped the intended progression, but I mean, if it's there, I'll take it. Whatever works, I'm not gonna complain. Any more than I usually do. All right, so here we go. As I was saying, there's still actually quite a few stars for Gusty Garden, which I didn't realize. I was looking at the map and I'm trying to figure out what stars I'm missing. Obviously there are comets that are around that I will have to get, but in general I was confused because I wasn't sure why I was having some of them not show up. The The comet progression wasn't happening as it's supposed to. The reality of my situation was there were still regular stars that I hadn't done. So here's another fun one if you like things that aren't fun. This is the purple coins on the cube. We have exactly two and a half minutes to gather as many of these as we can, and by that I mean exactly a hundred. There are more than a hundred though, thankfully, so the game isn't quite as sadistic as it normally would be. Throws you a little bit of a bone. This mission, if you like it, is definitely it definitely means that you're probably a bit of a square. I'm not a huge fan of it, just because I think all of these missions are garbage, but that's neither here nor there. I don't really want to beat around the bush or anything. I have said that enough times. I could probably just do a compilation of me complaining. Maybe someday I'll bring up an alternative channel and we'll just call it D-Mite Complains. So this is one of the missions that I brought up eons ago that has a very sneaky and kind of rude uh, trick to it. I don't want to say trick in the sense of like you have to do something, but I mean you technically do. This mission is on a cube, right? And the star, when you complete it, is on the side where we started. 
So, if you wind up going to the wrong side, when you are collecting the coins in the first place, like here, I actually probably should have... Oh, there's 150. Great. So I probably should have ended with uh, with those coins, but, you know, I'm a bit of a rabble rouser. I'm a bit of an adventure, a trailblazer. None of that is actually true. Um, so, yeah, you're going to want to make sure that you go back to the side... Excuse me. Excuse me. I just wasted, like, five seconds doing that. You're going to want to go back to the side with the fountain. The fountain is where the final coins will be... Uh, if you if you get them in the right order, which I am struggling with right now If you can collect all the coins from the fountain at the end then the star will be right there Hopefully there's actually just the right amount in this specific spot. That would make me very happy. I Don't know. We only need a Few more eight more Maybe there's eight here. Maybe there isn't looks like there is not it was close But we also have to make time to get back so I don't have to do this one again, but we'll see I believe the star is just up to the left. I could be wrong. Fingers crossed. Is this the fountain? It is. I was correct. Holy smokes. That's a first try, everybody. That was for you guys. That was for the fans. So you're welcome, my only fans. That was high quality gameplay. For all of you. For all y'alls. No. I will not save my game. And this final star is actually extra quick, so this mission in this episode itself is going to be the shortest of the Let's Plays so far. So, imagine that. The Gusty Garden's Gravity Scramble, we're gonna get this one. Hopefully you all aren't too miffed about the fact that you're getting about half the content. I mean, in all, in all fairness, it does kind of shake out because I did give, I did give bonus content in uh, one of the more recent Super Nintendo Sundays. So this evens out. You got a double, double length episode, a double wide. All right, so we're gonna keep going here as I get my hand stuck on my controller. That's wonderful. We love that. Taking care of these. Actually, no, I did this wrong, so I'm gonna actually have to kill myself. Whoops. When you do this mission, this is one that requires... I'm just gonna run into these spiky doodads. So the mission is getting prolonged unintentionally, I promise. This is not on purpose. This is just me being a goof. We'll try that again. Um, when you grab these puffs, whatever these are, you have to grab all of the coins that are in the slipstream. You can usually grab them with the top of the puff itself. But doing so is required in order to trigger all of the bonus stuff. So that coin is the one I missed. You need it in order to make all this, all these shenanigans happen in the correct order of operations. So do that. It's not really too too hard. I just missed it by one because I am oblivious. But that's okay. So if you'll notice, one of these rocks on these balls is unlike the others. It's because that's a chain chomp. Minus the chain, so it's just a chomp. Turns out that inside that golden chomp is a golden star. We've got our golden ticket, ladies and gentlemen. And that's that. That was pretty easy peasy. That's actually probably one of the easiest stars in the game if you know what you're doing. Surprisingly, I did this time. Yeah. All right, so that's uh, that's today's three stars. We will save. And then I'm actually gonna go back to the center of the observatory and give you guys a little peek about what we got left to do Thank you for zooming out when I did not need you to game. That messed up my my vision for a moment. So we're just going to take a little scenic route. There's Captain Toad hanging out, being a bro. So it looks like we've got... We would like to see the map. Thank you. So we do have 
a couple actually regular comments to do. So we've got a uh, speedy comment, which is cool. I forgot what that was called. We have a daredevil comment. That's actually going to be a, uh, a boss fight, which is fun. So most of these are done. Also, I lied. I said that we were done with 60% of the game. We are not. There is still a little bit left to do in Honey Hive. I messed that up. So we're 40% done, but we'll wrap up some more of these stars next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves with this bit of a shorter episode. We've got 11 stars left to go. Don't forget to uh, like the video, comment if you feel like it, and subscribe to get up to the date stuff coming out of this hot and fresh channel. So guys, I've been D-Mike. Thank you for watching another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. I'm going to end this episode because this Toad mailman is getting on my nerves. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.